There is no law in the books in South Carolina that criminalizes trafficking fentanyl. It seems hard to believe, but that is an issue that lawmakers are working to tackle, and that could change soon with the House of Representatives now passing a fentanyl trafficking bill today. Our State House reporter Mary Green has details. We did something today that lets those um, dealers and traffickers know that South Carolina is doing something about fentanyl coming into South Carolina and killing our children. Under this legislation, people convicted for the first time of possessing at least four grams of drugs containing fentanyl face a mandatory minimum of seven years in prison. Those caught with larger quantities could be behind bars for up to 40 years. This is the top level. This is not a kid with a pill. This is 40 pills, 60 pills, 80 pills, 100. This is significant weight of probably the most dangerous chemical we've seen. The bill got unanimous support among House Republicans. We need to make sure that those who are trafficking drugs and, think, and, and uh, fentanyl that harm the children of the state are going to be treated harshly and swiftly. But some Democrats argued this bill will create more problems than it solves, saying mandatory minimum sentences have not been proven to deter people from dealing and using drugs. An individual should be allowed to go in front of a judge and say, Judge, I have no record. Judge, I'm not violent. I've never hurt anybody. I've never been in trouble in my entire life. I thought I had seven Xanax pills. House Minority Leader Todd Rutherford argued this bill should have distinguished between pills containing fentanyl, which people with substance use disorders may possess without realizing they contain fentanyl, and powder fentanyl, which he says would mark criminals who are trafficking the drug. We have to delineate between those persons that are unreasonably snared in this process and those dealers. I'm after the dealers, they're not. What they're after is a bumper, bumper sticker. And until we stop the bumper sticker politics, until we move on to the science and the data that tells us what makes a difference, all we're doing in this case is putting lives in jeopardy. In a tweet sent after today's vote in the House, Governor Henry McMaster says he hopes this bill will reach his desk soon so he can sign it into law. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. And bills to criminalize fentanyl trafficking and create a charge of fentanyl induced homicide both advanced out of the Senate Judiciary Committee yesterday, so that means they now await debate on the Senate floor.